To determine if CH3OH, methanol, is a polar or nonpolar molecule, we'll look first at the Lewis structure. That tells us where the electrons are arranged around and between atoms, and it gives us a good idea about the polarity of the molecule. Here's the Lewis structure for CH3OH. We can see right away that we have this OH group here. That's the alcohol of the CH3OH, the methanol, and it's bonded to the carbon. So that's how we know it's an alcohol. Because it's not symmetrical and because it's an alcohol, that makes us think that it's probably going to be a polar molecule. So this is a ball and stick depiction of the CH3OH molecule. Whites, those are the hydrogens. Here's our carbon, and this is our oxygen. And we have the two lone pairs of electrons here on top of the oxygen. So when we look at it, it really isn't a symmetrical molecule. And we know that oxygen's much more electronegative than the carbon and the hydrogens. So we probably are going to end up with a negative on this side, and then on this side over here with all these hydrogens, a more positive side. If we look at the surface of the molecule, we can see the electrostatic potential. This is the charge on the surface, and there really is a difference. The oxygen, that's a little more negative, and then we have a positive here. Because of this negative and positive, we have a dipole, and we have poles. And if we have poles, we have a polar molecule. Because of that, CH3OH methanol, we would expect it to dissolve in water, and it really does. So this is Dr. B with the polarity for CH3OH methanol, and thanks for watching.